Hi, welcome to my channel. Today's video topic is your belief makes it so. So, if you're interested in why your belief makes it so, keep on watching. Okay, so it's going to be pretty straightforward. All right. What do you believe about different things in your life? What do you believe about your financial situation? What do you believe about your health? What do you believe about your physical appearance? What do you believe about your job or your uh, relationships? What do you feel about, or what do you believe about anything in your life? Your belief makes it so. It's simple. Uh, people complicate it, right? People complicate it, questioning how to change things and why is something this way and why is something that way and how do I change it and the butts butts here and butts there and so many questions right your belief makes it so stop looking at what is going on in your external reality and basing your beliefs off of that whether it's people, it's situations, um, whatever it is, stop looking at what is going on in your reality and basing your beliefs off of that. Your beliefs created what you see in the first place or actually not even created because creation is finished. So you selected okay the state of consciousness and have embodied that state and as it, it is externalized and that is what you are seeing in your reality right state of consciousness that you embodied and it is now being reflected back to you so Stop basing your beliefs on what you see because your beliefs created it in the first place. If you want to change things around, start changing your beliefs, right? Internally, change your beliefs so that you can see what you want to see in your reality. It's that simple. So, what do you believe about your finances? Do you believe that you live paycheck to paycheck? Do you believe that you don't have enough money in the bank? Do you believe that you can't pay your bills? That's what you're going to see reflected back to you. So change your belief. Simple, okay? Simple. Uh, if, I don't know how else to put it. It's We complicate things, right? By... People complicate things by overthinking it, by reacting to the re to what you see in front of you. Stop. Oof. I was there. I've been there. <laughs> I'm still working on certain beliefs, but I'm just up to this point now where uh, it's <sighs> that I've realized how simple it really is. Because everything starts with our beliefs and our assumptions. Everything. Everything starts from within. If you want more money in the bank, then you need to believe that you have more money in the bank. If you want your bills always paid on time, you need to believe that your bills are always paid on time. If you need to, if you need to weigh 20 pounds lighter, then... You need then believe that you are 20 pounds lighter than you currently are. If you have contradictory thoughts, change them. 
on the spot, okay? If you if you want to weigh 120 pounds and you weigh 160, and every time you look in the mirror, you look at yourself and you think, oh, I hate weighing 160 pounds. You're going to weigh 160 pounds. So when you look in the mirror, no matter what, no matter what your current weight is, right? If you're 160 pounds and you don't want to be 160 pounds, every time you look in the mirror, you think, I weigh 120 pounds. I'm beautiful. I look great at 120 pounds. You don't look in the mirror and think to yourself, oh, I wish I weighed less. I don't like the way I look. Look at me. I'm fat. I'm poor. You know, I look horrible. You don't think those things. You look in the mirror and you say to yourself, I weigh 120 pounds. I'm beautiful. I look great. I'm 120 pounds. If you want more money in the bank, every time you look at your bank account, you say to yourself, I always have money in the bank. I know people, I know other people have said this, like if they're teaching manifesting and stuff, and it's just, it's so simple, right? There are so many different techniques and stuff that we can use to kind of get us in the frame of mind that we need to be in so we can change our beliefs and, and our assumptions and all those other good things. But it's so simple. I believe I always have enough money in the bank. I always have enough money in the bank. When you look at your bank account, and you don't see enough money in your account, you don't automatically go on a tangent and let your mind run away with you and think, I don't have enough money in the bank. How am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to do this? No, you say to yourself, I always have enough money in the bank. Every single time. Every time. If, you let, if your thoughts start to run away with you, you reel them back in. It's simple. Just change your belief. And you change your belief by saying it, by thinking it. And eventually, and eventually you're going to see it reflected back to you. Right? It's, I mean, it's, it's really that simple. It is. So every time... Every time you believe, you catch yourself believing something that is not consistent with what you want to see. Just change your belief because your belief makes it so. Yes, your assumptions, your reactions um, are going to create what you see. But again, creation is finished. So, so you're basically just selecting different, um, different versions, different, um, uh, different realities that already exist. So you have to be very, very selective about what you're believing, what you're assuming and thinking and what you're reacting to or how you're reacting. You have to be very, very selective. Okay. You have to be conscious of what you're doing, okay? Uh, so even rather than just constantly searching for new techniques and stuff to try to create a better reality for yourself, just change your beliefs. That's it. Catch yourself in thought and change it. It's simple. Yeah, it's simple. Okay, I know this little tangent that I'm kind of going off on, but um, but your belief makes it so. So just change your beliefs. All right, I'm going to go. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Change your beliefs.